what do we have guys I can see Benten aliens um, we got a couple of aliens and actually two villains and I'm gonna go over them one by one showing you what are the basic powers now I actually wanna start guys with villains so the first villain I got only two so the first one that I wanna show you is Steam Smite um, look at this guy look at the head I mean isn't that beautiful and the, he's got also his scorpion sting over here so this guy he can build lots of lots of stuff from robots which makes him eventually extremely intelligent um, I would say the weaknesses of this guy are that most of his machines are really obsolete very old so it fails a lot of time and then or they're very super slow so it gives him a a disadvantage uh, compared to his opponents so look at him and then he's got a little light over here almost like an Iron Man which all of them have actually all of the uh, figures have a light over here besides the small ones which is the gray gray matter and also Ben has no light in his chest And then you can use this. I don't know if you can attach it, which probably you can over here. Okay, and there you got it with the sting. And then we got Hex. I mean, this guy is a powerful and highly skilled magician, so he can manipulate all sorts of magical forces and use them in his own advantage. Um, the weakness of this guy right here is that every hundred years he has to renew his powers. So around that time he's going to become less powerful and basically weaker. Let me open this guy. Check it out. So the same thing. He's got the light in his chest. Look at him. That's a mean fellow. I can tell you. Oh, this is a cool look. And he can stand perfectly in an upright position. Now I'm going to show you the superheroes, well not the superheroes, I'm not gonna call them superheroes, even though you can address them all superheroes, but I'll show you the aliens. I don't have a lot, I got a couple of them, so we'll go one by one. Okay, so who do we got here? I'm gonna go one by one as I mentioned. So I'm gonna remove these guys and we're gonna start most likely with Ben, because he's the main character inside the show. So let's go with Ben. These guys, bye bye. And let's go with Ben. So there we have him. Ben. I mean the coolest alien tech out there in my opinion. Is his. I call it a wristwatch. Even though we know the real name for it. But this little guy right here. Grey Mater. A really cool looking tiny alien. And super smart. So if I open this one. Just want to tell you guys that one of his biggest. I would not call it fears, but maybe weaknesses, is when he's not able to turn into an alien. So his alien tech will misfunction in a way that it will either give him a different kind of an alien which is not fit for the situation, or it's not going to break at all. So he will need to wait until this recharges and then he can select his alien and then hit it and then he will turn. Look at it. So in terms of movement, can he can actually flex, not flex, but rotate all of his, all of his limbs and everything. So it's actually a quite cool looking fellow, in my opinion. The next guy is forearm. 
as we know this guy is super strong so right his his abilities he can lift several times his own weight um he can punch through various brazilian materials um his strength allows him to use anything heavy as a weapon or he can you know from from he can throw rocks he can lift anything way beyond ben would be able to now in terms of his weaknesses i think it's his size if you look at the body mass of this guy and especially in the tv show um or in the cartoon this guy is super muscular in a way that he is not as fast as his enemies so this is one of his weaknesses but he looks quite okay i tell you look at his forearms and again he's got a little button you can you can flash the light there you have it so another one is accelerate um imagine this is the flash or quicksilver in ben 10 so this guy he can move at extremely fast speed uh, more than 500 miles per hour and then he's got enhanced strength and then he can definitely be a threat to any kind of an enemy so in terms of movement you can move all the limbs again you can even move the tail and then one of his weaknesses is that he's not able to be as fast on all kinds of surfaces right so it will depend on how strong the surface is um, things like ice or any surface which is not adhesive enough it can slow him down another guy that I want to show you is a diamond head this is also one of my favorites and um, diamond head's body is basically is composed of extremely thick organic green crystals so he has the ability to manipulate the atomic structure of his body in a way which will allow him to to basically weaponize himself and create blades so he can make huge large clusters of crystals and create walls and form shields and basically it's a great thing in battle i can tell you that his abilities are one of the coolest abilities i have seen so far in ben 10. now check out this guy all green beautiful beautiful now one of the weaknesses that this guy possess is that he can crack and shatter if he is impacted by a lot of force or he's exposed he's, he's basically exposed to a strong sonic vibrations so that can crack this guy up and eventually he can even get unconscious like his limbs and everything imagine you chop off his arm so he can regenerate all of his limbs quite quite easily and quite quite quickly Another guy that I want to show you is Cannonbolt. Um, as we know, this guy can basically roll and create something like a wheel. And then he can increase in speed. But once he gets rolling, he's got problems to stop. So that is the biggest weakness this guy has in terms of the speed he creates and the momentum, the momentum that, he, that he gets. Um, he will have problems to stop. And again, he's got a small, tiny little button over here. And, and the light again. So another guy that I want to show you is Heat Blast. This is actually one of my favorite. If I would do top, top five, I would do this guy. Look at him. Yeah, he can he can rotate his limbs and everything so as we know inside the tv show he can fly he can manipulate fire shoot various kind of fireballs and things 
Um, his biggest weakness, in my opinion, is that he can get est extinguished quite fast if you can use a high amount of water, even though he can reignite quite fast again. So, it's a nice thing. Now another one is this little tiny fella. You know he resembles a frog, like at least to me, like some kind of an insect. Maybe he's an insect. I don't know. I did not do a huge research on it. But I just know that he's super, super smart. Which is a cool thing. Because you can solve a lot of things. You know, you got a situation where being strong or having any kind of a different superhero power will not help you and you need to use your brain. This one, no movement at all. Like You cannot do anything with this one. So as I mentioned, this one is not suitable for a physical fight, which means that he needs to outsmart his enemies in a way to win the battle. So that is his greatest, maybe, weakness. 